Hey everybody. Good morning. It is Thursday. It is the fifth. It is the fifth of March, and uh, I saw somebody say on our chat this morning that these guys are four weeks old this morning, which I'm just going to believe because I didn't check or do the math myself. <clears throat> If you were watching the live stream overnight, you saw that they completely wrecked this little village of cat beds that we have, and they were rolling that mushroom all around, and it was just a disaster, which is cool, because it means that they're starting to get big enough to, to really cause some trouble. Also, I saw them running around this morning. I mean, like, actually running, uh, which was very cool. They're still a little uncoordinated, but they are really moving. So yesterday, hi, good morning, Clax. Yesterday, um, I came in here and I tried to get them each to eat some of the wet food, and it was a mixed success. Uh, Beep here, this is little Beep, actually licked the food on her own after I started her, uh, and that was cool. She's playing with that, she's playing with the flat mouse already, such advanced kittening. Good job, Beeper. So I thought uh, I'd bring the tripod in this morning and see if we can try to get them to eat on the close-up, which I know it's a it's a tall order, no pun intended, um, but I thought uh, it would be worth a shot. So uh, let's start with Beep, since she seems a little active and was our best yesterday. Uh, let me switch this around. I know I'm still wearing the same shirt from yesterday, and uh, you gotta forgive me for that, and uh, no sock, just my slippers. It's uh, I've got excuses, believe me, I've got excuses. Um, so this is little Beep. And this is some special food I made up to try to encourage them all to eat something. And I think Beep is going to be our best chance of success because she's already afraid of the bowl of food. So <clears throat> the way that I usually would start them is uh, I will put a little bit of the food on the roof of their mouth using my finger. Just a tiny, tiny bit. That's way too much. That's even too much. Just a tiny bit. And I open their mouth. I put it right on the roof of their mouth. And then while they're licking their lips, I move the food in. If they like it, they can go, oh, that's where that came from. Let me get some more. And yesterday, this worked really well on Beep. Well, today, Beep's like, I don't know. Hang on, though. I think you were into it. Let's try it. One, another way that we do this, and this is DJ's favorite technique, is uh, she'll put a little bit of food in the mouth and then she gives them some more on her finger because that's a little less intimidating than the big bowl and stuff. But she can put it right in where they're licking. There we go. And then you can lead them slowly down to the bowl as they're licking your finger, which Beep is totally doing now. Oh, wait, too much. Too much? Okay, we're not gonna push it. Uh, they are at the right age though. They've got all their teeth um, so the, and they're a month old, and that's about when we figure they're going to get started on this. So we're going to keep trying this now every day until they really take into it. Because um, it's time. Okay, Clax, I know. I know. Let's give you a little bit of this time. There we go. Put it right in there. No, still a little too much like, what is all this? Okay. So this food is a mix of um, KMR2, which is weaning formula. It's made especially for doing this. And we might even, if, if they continue to not get it, we might go to straight just KMR2 and nothing else. Well, you've got to mix it with water, but you know what I mean. Um, but this is KMR2 mixed with uh, RC Mom and Baby Cat which is what we usually start kittens eating. Um, there we go. Just try a little bit of that, buddy. There you go. Oh, they're all a little bit like, nah, I'm not ready for this. Beep's still the one that's the furthest along there, huh? Wait, I want to try you one more time, though. Come, come here, come here. I want you to relax. I want you to relax. This is, I can tell you're a little spooked, and being spooked means this is just never going to work. Doesn't that smell good? No, it does not smell good. Okay. Well, <laughs> it was worth a try, you know. Uh, we're going to keep doing this, like I said, and see um, 
how long it'll take, but you know, this is, again, it's their uh, first or second time, really, second, eh, I don't know, technically this is their third, although the first time that I did it, it was definitely too early. Um, so that's fine. I'm, I'm not concerned about the fact that they didn't really take to it today. Once again, Beep is the, the closest to taking to it. Yet, like I said, yesterday Beep took just a couple licks on her own, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So, that's enough of watching me. Let's uh, flip the camera around here. There we go. All right, we can get at least a few more minutes with these kittens. I'm going to leave the food here, and at the very least, I'm sure Belle will eat it because it's delicious. Uh, I'm going to move her food over here, actually, because I don't, I don't want her food there in the primary play area. Come on over here. There we go. I'm putting it right here. It's right here, Belle. You don't have to look so offended. It's all right over there. I also gave them a water dish for their first time. That's uh, filled kind of low. That way, if they fall into it, they, uh, they won't have too much trouble. So they got a water dish. They have access to all of mom's food on a nice low plate so that it's very accessible to them. And then the special food I made for them. So we'll see how that works out. All right, kids. I'm sorry I made you all eat real food when you've got something so much better. It won't be long before they are all digging in. Where do you think you're going? Oh, are you actually up on that? <gasps> all four feet off the ground, a climber. Beep, that's very advanced. Beep is so advanced. Playing, yesterday Beep was picking up that green mylar ball, actually picking it up with her mouth and uh, playing with it, of course. And then this morning you saw her playing with the mouse and last night she was the first one to eat. And now she's the first one to climb all four feet off the ground. That's pretty impressive, Beep. <laughs> now, I know what you're doing. You're cleaning the food off of her face. If you didn't want it from the bowl, how come you'll eat it from your sister, Foggy? Foggy's like, I don't know. All the food I've ever eaten in my life came from somebody else. What are you looking at? Look at her stretching way over to look over that blanket. So silly, Beeper. Are you looking at that coffee? Yeah, me too. Oh, I need coffee also. It really looks like she's looking at the ad for coffee. You and me, Beep. What's going on over here? Clax is trying to play with mom, and mom is just ignoring her. Clax. Boop. I'll play with you. You want to fight? Come on, fight me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, I'll take you out. Oh, yeah. No? You done now? Boop. <laughs> Well, we tried with the food. We'll keep trying. You know, we're a little late getting weights on all these guys. Do you guys want to help me with that one more time this morning? We'll go through real quick because I want you to get a chance to see everybody this morning. And that's not going to happen if we're just stuck here weighing kittens all morning. Um, so let's do this, though. Hang on. We'll go real fast. And uh, as last time, you guys can help take down the weights and tell me uh, later on then what they were. We'll go in order. Foghorn is first. Hi, Foggy. You've still got eye boogers. You've just got perpetual eye boogers, don't you? Even when I clean them up. And look at all that floof. you definitely going to be a long-haired, floofy kitty. You kind of disappear on that rug, don't you? All right, we got 19 ounces. 
19, that's good. I think for a month old, we figure they should be about, you know, 16 or give or take a bit. So, uh, you know, rough numbers. We figure a pound a month. So that's good. You're doing very well. And look at you. You're being much calmer about being picked up these days. I guess because I've done it so much, you've really gotten used to it. I wonder if you'd fit in one of those hula skirts because you look like a, you would do a hula. The hula skirts are in the other room. We're going to have to break those out soon. Okay, stop looking so sad about it. Let's get some more weights. Beep, I think you're second, aren't you? Let's put you in here real quick. Hang on. Beep weighs 17.2. Hi, Beeper. I know. Belle is over there rubbing on her scratching post and making noises. Hi, Hi Beeper. Let's take a look at you and your big old belly. Would you do a hula for us later? Do a little hula. We got. We definitely got to break out those hula skirts before you're too big. They only fit very tiny kittens. Okay, beeper. And one more. Oh, foggy, are you gonna make the climb? All right, Clax, have a seat right there for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Clax. Clax is uh, eighteen point nine. We're called 18.9. Belle. <laughs> Belle's being so silly over there. Clax, will you do a hula for us? Oh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that is a pretty good one right there. You just about got this down. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, well, like I said, uh, I want to get a chance to show you guys everybody this morning, so we got to keep this thing rolling, uh, like Belle. Like Belle's definitely keeping it rolling over there. Yes, I'm talking about you. I'm making fun of you, Belle. So if you want to keep watching these kittens, all you have to do is tune into the regular Kitten Academy live stream. I think the camera that's on right now is the one that's in the box. Not the best view, but uh, after we're done with this close-up, I'll start playing with the cameras and try to get everybody the best view. I'm always working on that. Not always succeeding. Hi, Clax. I know you want to hang out. I'm going to come back and hang out with you kids later today, okay? All right, here we go. I'll come back in just a few minutes and pick up my spoon and my box, okay? But I'm going to leave those here for now, Bell. I'm going to leave those here for now. Oh, you're so cute, Bell. I gotta keep moving, cutie pie. I'll be back. Okay, so let's drop in real quick here and just see Brooke. Brooke, we only have to spend a second with. Um, so uh, the only news on Brooke is first off, her eye is looking better every day. I know she's being kind of winky at the moment, but it, I, I keep a real close eye, excuse me, a real close eye on it. And uh, it is looking better all the time. She's just making rapid improvement. Also, uh, last night she got a spa night. And the reason was that I let her out last night to go hang out with the faculty and she got in a big scuffle with Maggie, which, you know, she always kind of goes after Maggie. Every mom cat that we've had in Connecticut has gone after Maggie. I don't, I don't know what it is about Maggie that sets them off so much, uh, but it seems to be a theme. Anyway, um, normally what happens is uh, she'll take a swipe at Maggie and Maggie will run up a tree or run away somewhere and then that's the end of it. It's just done. But last night, um, Maggie got cornered on accident in my office and she was stuck in the corner and couldn't get away. And uh, that just, it, it really wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't that bad, but they made a lot of noise and I felt really bad for Maggie because she was just being so loud. So it just, it made me feel bad. So I put Brooke back in her room yesterday so that Maggie could have some time, some peaceful time. And uh, I felt bad about that. So then Brooke got to have spa night and hang out with me all night. And yes, that spa night means that she, that just means that she hangs out in the master bedroom. There's a long story behind that, uh, calling the master bedroom the spa. But uh, yeah, so she got to hang out in the master bedroom, just me and Brooke last night. And uh, it was cute. She, uh, I brought her favorite bed, the one that she's in right now. I brought it in there and I put it on the bed and she basically just got in it and slept with me all night on, in her bed because that's what she likes, isn't it? Yeah. 
So she's a good little brookie. And she's just a sweetheart. And she just loves this bed. I told her adopter, Ed, um, that not only would I give her this bed, but I would also give him another one so that she would have a replacement when she wears this one out. I think this is going to be something that she likes forever. Yes. Anyway. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Rolling like a bell. Hi, Custard Doodle. There's our little custard. Hey, bud. What are you thinking about? I hear you. Um, okay, yes, I'm going the right way, I think. Uh, let's see. So Tinker, oh, there's Tinker right there. I wanted to tell you about how much more Tinker has been out and around the last day or two. And here she is out and around again. You're not too far out right now. I know. Well, I guess it's that time for Mom Cats. She also seems a little bit excited like Belle. Um, I want to do a little hand sanitizer before I start playing with these kids, though. So let me grab that. And we'll just set this down for a second. And I'll tell you about Tinko. Yesterday, um, I opened the door on our cat run because it was pretty nice out yesterday. And Tinko ran out of the door into the cat run to get some fresh air. She just loved it. She really loved it. Unfortunately, it was still a little too cold. It's like 50 degrees out, and she decided to come back in. Also, Dabble went out there with her, too. Very bold, the girls. But none of the boys wanted to go out. Monkey kept looking. Monkey wanted to go out. But every time he'd get his head in front of the door, he'd feel the cold air coming in from outside. And he was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. So, that is what it is, though. Just wasn't his deal. Hi, I haven't seen you rolling around on the floor out here before. That's a new one on me. That's cute, too. So, at any rate, though, uh, Tinker also yesterday, she went in the sunroom, and she sat on the chaise long in the, uh, in the sunroom, and was, she was just going to sit there all day, I think. I actually had to take her off of it and put her back in her room when I was ready to go run some errands. So it was really cool to see her sort of coming out of her shell a little bit. And uh, it's really sweet to see her out here walking around and talking to me and talking to her kids and being interested in everything that's going on. Yes. And she's talking now even. So I just, I feel really great about how she's coming around. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Aw, look at you. Hi. So uh, you guys know all of these kittens, I guess. Um, this one is Trifle. And just like I was saying yesterday, Trifle is continuing his uh, tradition of being the one that wants to run right in, under my feet while I'm walking around. When I come in the room in the morning, he wants to run and rub around my ankles and stuff like a cat does and trip me up. Uh, this is Monkey. Hi, Monkey. And I've been spending, uh, I've been trying to figure out who I think is the one that is sort of the most independent. Um, and it's definitely a contest between Monkey and Putter. I don't even know where Putter is right now, so I guess he's winning that at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but uh, all of them have turned into big lap cats. So it's, it's kind of a fine point, really, because Monkey and Putter both will get right up on my lap and snuggle with me when I go in the room. There's Putter. Do you see him? There you go. You can always tell a Milford man. <laughs> he is he's hidden like uh, uh, whatever. It's another Arrested Development uh, reference, which was came up this morning in the chat, so now it's on my mind. Um, this is Logan Berry right here. He's in here playing with the kittens, and apparently Taylor's decided that he's safe enough. Hi, Monkey. And then Dabble, of course. Dabble went from, at first, I thought for sure she was going to be the one that would be the most difficult to be friends with. And now she's always the first one in my lap when I sit down. So she has really come around from what I expected. I'm sorry if I keep calling her Taylor. You guys don't have to hiss at Loganberry. He's a sweetheart. He'll groom you. A little trifle. See Trifle and Loganberry having kind of a standoff back there. Loganberry just wants to be friends, and, and uh, 
Trifle's obviously just a little bit worried. I think Trifle, by the way, is just a, a ringer for Logan Berry. When Logan Berry was that age, they, I mean, they could have been twins. He's got a lot of the same attitude, too, which is sweet. Where do you think you're going now, Trifle? You can't climb that. Taylor's over there. You really are like your mom, Taylor. T Tinker. See, I'm just going to keep doing it. So I, I don't. some of you that are tuning in a little bit later may not know um, that uh, Tink Tinker, this is Tinker, Tinker, Tinker is Belle's kid, just like the kids upstairs are. So those are actually her brother's sisters upstairs. Or so we are told. Today they definitely seem to be showing the family relation. They're both just rubbing around on their stuff and making their noises and acting all silly. Look at you. Showing off your secret agent suit. Yes. So also, if you don't know what's going on, the reason she's in a secret agent suit is just because we don't want her to nurse her kittens anymore. Uh, we want her milk to dry up so that we can uh, do a couple of extra tests on her at the vet that need that to be done first. So there you go. Yeah, I don't know. You know, um, Shannara, uh, we've had a lot of people ask about getting Tink and Belle back together again. And uh, I'm not sure, actually, because at first I said, you know, probably there just wouldn't be a good time to do it. And that still may turn out to be the case. But uh, I'm thinking more and more about how well both of them have done with meeting the faculty. And I think they might do well with meeting each other again. So if we get a chance and it seems like something that we can easily do, uh, I'll definitely give it a shot. But... Uh, but I'm not going to go out of my way to engineer it, it unless it just sort of is, seems like something that we can do. Now, she's all of a sudden very interested in what Logan Berry's doing. Logan Berry, maybe you shouldn't be in here. Maybe you should stay out there in the neutral zone. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, look at that. She's, she's like, I don't know what this guy's doing, but I'm going to go check him out. Logan Berry, do you want out? Yes, here, go on through. There you go. Head on out. Good boy. All right. Well, folks, uh, this close-up has also gone on for long enough. So let me say thank you to all of you for tuning in and sharing 20 minutes of my morning with me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for helping me get the weights on those kittens. I'm sure that someone on the Discord chat will remind me what they were as soon as we wrap it up here. Uh, and uh, thanks to all of you for chatting with me and for the moderators to, for moderating. I just, I really appreciate all of it. And if you want to keep watching these kittens, all you have to do is tune into the regular Kitten Academy live stream right here on YouTube. Um, after we're done with this close up, I will move those cameras around to try to keep kittens on them. That's been kind of a tough order lately, um, but I do my best. I may move this fence over too so they have access to the kitchen and the sunroom, in which case uh, it's even tougher for me to, to keep them all on the camera, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We're still running the, uh, the faculty stream, which is uh, special for our Discorders, uh, the people that come to us through our Patreon page and then get on our Discord chat. That does have the living room camera and the kitchen camera and the sunroom camera, and I think the front hall camera on it today. And that will be continuing through at least tomorrow. At least that's the plan right now. Uh, so that does make it a little easier to see them when they're running around here on the first floor anyway. Uh, okay, thanks again to everybody. Uh, again, I really appreciate it. And we will do this again tomorrow.
Maggie, why don't you say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, say goodbye. Okay, good enough.